Why is a market crash coming in October here, 2021, and possibly a recession in 2022? How to prepare for the worst and in actuality prepare for the best opportunity of a lifetime? We are going to analyze the 1987 crash, the 2000 and crash, the 1929 crash. And I want to show you similarities to what's going on right now. In the charts, the charts tells you everything that you need to know and economical policies. We'll review everything. I'll go through charts, give you support, resistance, and game plan. Don't forget the rich get richer in economical cycles. When there is a market crash, which is the over 20%, a quick sudden drop of 20%, and then it takes about two years to come back in 20, uh, 2001. It took about two years, 1929, about... Uh, 20 years, I'll show you that, and in 1987, about two years. So those are huge opportunities. If you are prepared for the worst, to have huge, huge wealth creation being done instead of destruction for yourself and your family. So let's go. Let's go deep. Number one, crash started, and that's super important here. The start, the crash started in October 24. So that was the first day, and it started deteriorating. They tried to come back on a Friday with a lower high, and boom, Monday, big drop on the 29th in October, which resulted, guys, in a 23% drop in my nuts here, okay? And then after that, if you count dividend, it took 10 years to rebound at break even. If no dividend was taken, it took about 23 something years. So look, a couple of interesting in the, the fact here on this research that I find very interesting is at the time, what caused the crash? Stocks were overpriced. High fraud and illegal activity took place. High margin. We have a lot of leverage going on now in 2021 in our stock market here in October the 12th. You know, we and it is very interesting. Fed policies, right? Tighten started tightening. We are talking about tapering now, right? And so the, the crash also was due to an inequality of wealth. We have huge inequality of wealth right now, inequality of distribution, you know, bad banking structure. We don't have that, right? But all the things that they've done here to uh, help the crash was new monetary infusion, which we don't have a lot of leeway because we've already done that. Now you look at the crash of the stock market in 1984. Same idea, guys. It started on October 14, and then October 17, it dropped 22%. So you have to be careful because, again, the same concept I just told you. It starts on the first day. The week prior to the crash goes down lower high here and boom, that Monday and that Tuesday, they had a 23% crash. Now, I want to show you the charts here that are interesting on crashes because a lot of people talk about crashes, but analyzing past behavior is more important. Look here, the crash in 2000 here. And you look here at the head and shoulder on the weekly charts from 2000. Notice where it started cracking. September 11. You know, September 4, September 11. Well, look, to the tick this year, we got a shoulder, head and shoulder in 2000. And to the tick this year in 2021, we started dropping lower high in, Oct uh, in September, where in October, they tried to rebound a little bit here, right? And then, boom. Look what happened. You made a low all the way to April. And this lasted about two years, see? 2000 to about 2003. Then it started back. And then we started again. The next big drop, which is the 2008. Same idea. Shoulder, head, shoulder. Same idea. You know, it started here in October. This one started more in October. Drop, rebounded a little bit in December. And then the new year boom see all the way to march okay and that lasted two years as well now remember what i told you the uh two-year mark also happened in 19 
87 to break even with the lows. But in 1929, to go through the excess, it lasted like almost 23 years, guys, just to get back at break even. So the big question, guys, is are we in a prolonged potential recession, a prolonged uh, uh, a crash, or it's just a correction, which is defined between 10 and 20 percent? We go down, we lower high, lower high right now in October and September, and then crash a little bit and boom. And we have a quick rebound. That remains to be seen, everybody. If you look at the current charts, let's look at the current charts. Here's what we have here as October 12th, right? And if you look at my previous videos from September, I told you be very careful being long in September, October, because they are traditionally weak months in the market. Look at the Russell futures. Lower high, lower high. Higher low. So, we have, if you count, one, two, three, four, five, six, lower high. One, two, three, four, five, higher lows. We are pinching here on the Russell futures between 2200 and this 2300, 2300 area. We got to have a resolution of this triangle and see what happens. Same here. You look in the middle. This is the SPX, everybody. If I zoom the charts in the middle, same idea, clear the other one. We have lower high, see, like this, which project us at about 4,000, 425, 4,000, 450 resistance now. And we have this double bottom higher low triangle that goes like this, all right? Now, if we break here this, 4,300 again, see right there, it's game over, guys. We are going to retest 4,190 and possibly a 4,075 low in the market, which will structure a 10% retracement from the top. So that would still qualify as a correction. And 80% of the time that you have corrections, people come in as a buying opportunity and we rebound. They, they call that buying the dips, buying the dips. But you need to be very careful now because what we're seeing in the market is we're seeing a lot of time where the market is rejecting the top as well. So the key will be the 10% correction from the top in the entire market, which will be the 4,075. If we break this 4,075, we are going towards more of a crash, more of a correction in the market coming in the next days. You know, remember, in 1997, they started October 14 and peak in November 19. Well, look, I'm doing this video, it's October 12. So all I know is if I look at previous crashes, October the 14th to the end of the month, right, to October 30th is going to be critical to watch for rapid crashes, or we are going to drip, continue slowly but surely lower high. Right? So I'm looking very carefully for the next few days you know, in a few weeks, are we breaking back the 4,425, 4,450 for potential double top, right, or not? Now, we might be also approaching, guys, a recession. And we are going to see through those October uh, analysis and earnings the pressure of inflation, the, pressure, the uh, 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 consequences of a high cost structure, employment costs, logistical costs, transportation costs on earnings. So if earnings, you know, net profit goes down, supply and demand is stagnant to low, inflation is high, that's stagflation. If stagflation is present, that will prevent the feds to increase the rates uh, forcefully, and that will prevent the, the feds, right, to uh, be brutal with this. So we have this yin and yang, the, the crash with a lot of inflation, stagflation. You see the crude price at $80. In a lot of places now in the U.S., you have a $3 barrel for gas up to $5 a barrel. It keeps on going up, it keeps going up. Transportation issues, you know, we have ports filled of boats that are docked, that cannot uh, 
uh, uh, undock their containers. That pre provides a lot of pressure on the supply chains. We have the Evergrande issue in China. We don't know yet the consequences in the market system. We have also, last but not least, uh, a Chinese doing drill, military drill across Taiwan. Is that thing could be a sparkle to a, a, a global recession and a, a, a crash. Those are a lot of stuff going on now that prevents me to jump into the launch. I structure I said buy because crashes are a huge opportunity to buy asset at depreciated prices. But you need to have super strong support and resistance and sell deep out of the money put below your support so that you can get the asset that you want at the price that you want and get paid. So as the stock market or your Apple goes down, 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 and you sell, let's say, 75 put on Apple, then you get paid the 75 put premium to get the price that you want. Apple at the price that you want, 75 and back up. It's just an example that I'm giving you. But you need to be very, very careful that if you want asset and stocks right now, to structure them as super safely as possible. And you prepare like this by observing very strong support, creating a, a margin of safety and selling a, a put out of the money below uh, the stocks that you want. Like for instance, let me give you an example. I like Palantir, right? Palantir is a stock that I like. Look, PLTR. I don't know how low it's going to go, but I know I like this 2022 uh, Ariane Palantir. Well, look what you do. If the market crash here, I'm going to take the 2023, and guess what? I'm going to sell this 17.5. So I will get paid. See, it's a 17.5 strike over 10%, right? This is almost, by the way, 15% return on my money for one year. One year. So let's say there's a crash. I block my money for 15% to get the premium of 225 here. And if the market crash, 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 and I get assigned the Palantir stock at 17.5 minus the premium I got of 225, my true cost basis in the stock now is what? 15.5 uh, minus 25 is 14.25. So I get a great cost basis instead of running after the stock at 23, 72, I get it at 14.25. So this is kind of a strategy if there's market crashes, you sell the deep out of the money put as those premium in the options increase to get the assets at the price that you want. But you need to be very careful, right? Because let's go back to the some of the stuff that happened back then, right? If you look at 1987, look. What caused the crash? Computer trading. Well, that could happen again. Illiquidity, we don't have that problem. Trading and deficit budget. We have that. We wonder even if the government is going to shut down. Overvaluation, we have that. Then, look what they do. They supply. See that? They supplied a lot of liquidity, the central bank at the time, to avert a huge recession that lasted more than two years. Well, guess what? We do not have those bullets anymore. You have already trillions of dollars spent with COVID. So be careful. I gave you support, resistance. Also, don't forget the first day. The first day, now we are October 12th. This first day, October the 14th, I think it will be, you know, 20 something years ago, 1987, right? We had a crash starting. So October 14th, I'm going to watch very carefully the market. October 21st, I'm going to watch the market very careful, 27, because every Thursday has been the beginning of crashes, a setup like a chess player, a setup leading to the Monday open and the Tuesday open. I hope this video was helpful. Guys, be prepared in terms of trading and swing trading. You make a lot of money on crashes because the market goes down way faster than it goes up. And when it goes down, you should get excited like Warren Buffett, be greedy when everybody is fearful to buy depleted price on assets that you like, the companies that you like. If you like the Amazon, the Apple, the Palantir, the high growth digital stocks that do not rely on the supply chains, you know, that are mostly tech stuff. You love to have a market crash. You love to have market corrections. That's where you start 
adding a little bit of money each time the market pull back. Okay, hopefully this market, uh, this video was helpful. If this video was helpful, your likes, comments are super appreciated. And don't forget, we have a live stream every Wednesday at 12.30 where I come, I go over the market, the cryptocurrency market, the stock market, the options market, and help you with the analysis that we do for institutions and the retail traders and the pro tools and the tools that we use personally to help you guys absolutely free on Wednesday. So make sure to sign and subscribe to our channel. See you next Wednesday at 12.30. Take care, everybody. Stay safe.